Let's get into our first topic of the evening, and that first topic goes to our special guest, Ben Lunsford. Ben, what is your topic? Explain to us, please. Well, my topic uh, has to do with BlizzCon. Uh, I actually went there, um, not this past weekend, but the weekend before, because uh, that's when it happened, obviously. Sounds um, cold. Right. It, it, <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't, not compared to Minnesota. <laughs> um, but, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, um... Uh, for those that don't know what BlizzCon is, uh, basically it is uh, BlizzCon or Blizzard's uh, big convention for the year. Um, it, they, I believe it started back in like 2005, um, so this was like the 10th anniversary, I believe, if I remember correctly. Uh, so it's kind of a big deal, um, and uh, they, they put on uh, a lot of different. They have a lot of different stages for a lot of different uh, of their games. They have six ones now, so it starts with their basic three, three you know, Warcraft, Diablo, Starcraft. And but now they have Hearthstone, Heroes of the Storm, and coming out soon is Overwatch. Uh, so they have quite a lot of games. Uh, so it's a lot of content to see over the weekend. Can I just throw out there? I'm kind of like one of the things that I love about Blizzard is they have really good Mac support for their games. Yes. Um, yeah. The beta is out for Overwatch, and I may have managed to get a beta key. No, seriously. But I, I hate you a little bit right now. But it's PC only. <laughs> oh, I guess I don't hate you so much. So weird. Um, which I feel like you should just be begging right now. That's that's how I feel. Like I want sure. to, but I I don't know how that would come off. I really want that key. <laughs> um, well, for a forty three dollar donation, <laughs> to org slash Sam. <laughs> we'll we'll talk after the show about it, Ben. Maybe. <laughs> oh crap. Uh-huh. I'm not that on my account. <laughs> um, so that, that that kind of bums me out. I'm I've liked that that I could actually get into some Blizzard games on the Mac, but this is one that uh, that sounds so interesting to me that I won't be able to play. Um, it is coming out. I know. I don't know if the beta is coming out, but the the actual game itself is coming out for both PS4 and Xbox One. That's true. So you can actually get the game at least uh, if they don't release a, a Mac client for the PC side. Okay, so I'm going to be a noob and say, what is the game format? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, easy way to kind of explain it is um, it is has the feel of a shooter, um, but it also has a lot of the same uh, um, like abilities and stuff like that you can you can find in like what a, a MOBA you know like which is like League of Legends or or Heroes of the Storm where you're you're constantly doing uh, if, like basically any uh, attack, a special attack, um, to and and there's actually heroic too. So like basically, it has the form of uh, a brawler, an online uh, MOBA kind of thing. With uh, but you're running around in first person. Um, so it, it it brings a lot of action into it and uh, um, a lot of uh, different things you can do in a single match even. Does that answer? Ooh, ooh, <laughs> yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I think I, I think that was a very good description. Um, I've never been to BlizzCon. It sounds like a lot of fun. What were like some of your favorite things that you saw there? Uh, definitely the stages um, were were awe inspiring. Um, uh, if you if you haven't seen it before, just Google uh, you know the StarCraft stage. That was a pretty epic. I think this year there was like thirty. Uh, um, I want to say there were like 30, 24 K uh, projectors all projecting onto the Jesus. stage. Yeah. That is big, awesome. Right? Just, yeah. uh, Might be um, a little excessive, but still <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah. I, I do not know what you are talking about, sir. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, uh, the stages were a lot of fun. I, I got to see um, Heroes of the Storm uh, World Championship uh, live, uh, which kind of brought my interest back into the game itself. Heroes uh, of the Storm is a MOBA, right? I haven't, I haven't actually played that one. But I, I have played, played it once, and I played it with Brain. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually heard it's a, it's a pretty good MOBA if you haven't played a lot of MOBAs. Like, it's, it's really accessible. Is that, yes. is that true? Yeah. Very true. Um, so, like with League of Legends or Dota, um, basically you have you have a high skill um, starting, so a big big learning curve because you have to learn not only the heroes, you have to also learn like uh, armor and items and all that kind of stuff. You have to buy from the shop every every time you go back, and you have to know all that kind of stuff. 
Um, and, and not not only that, but you also have to uh, support uh, one person. They're called the carry, where they basically do all the damage in the late game and win it for you. You have to support them basically throughout the entire match. Um, Heroes of the Storm kind of turned up everything on its head. Uh, they now it, now you don't have to buy any items or anything like that. You just uh, uh, every time every third level you you augment your abilities, um, and then uh, uh, there's shared XP for the team. Uh, so you level up together, and you don't have to worry about um, supporting a certain person uh, in the match. Uh, I'm uh, I'm looking at some of your pictures from from BlizzCon, and I just want to say that master control room looks oh, pretty yes. freaking sweet. I'll, I'll, a, I'll put a I'll put a link in the chat for everyone so they they can take a look at the the album. But uh, that's really cool. Uh, I found it interesting. I was I was doing some reading on Heroes of the Storm, and it looks like there's a, there's a character that is controlled by two people. Yes. Uh, that sounds just really what? like it's a really yes. really powerful character, and essentially what it is is like one person. It's it's a two headed character, right, uh, Ben? Um, so one player controls like movement and one head, and the other player controls the other head and can do more magic based attacks. Yep. Um, and it's like an incredibly powerful um, hero to use, uh, but you have to use it with someone. And then uh, if, if you're using that hero, essentially your team only has four heroes on the board instead of five, while the other team can have, you know, the five. Right. Um, it's such a neat concept. Like, yeah, Blizzard definitely enjoys uh, taking a lot of concepts and just, like, basically taking what we know for granted with Dota and League of Legends. You know, everybody has one hero, all that kind of stuff, and turns it upside down. Uh, so they they released um, uh, the Lost Vikings, which is three heroes and one controlled by a single person. Oh, uh, so you can basically have all three me? of them across the, all three lanes, and you soak XP uh, by yourself in all three lanes, and you can definitely get a, an advantage that way. But they're a lot harder to control, and um, it's uh, they're all very squishy as well. Uh, and then with Chogal, uh, that's this new one where it's uh, two people controlling Chogal. one person. Uh, it definitely gives you a, um, an interesting way to interact uh, with another person, especially if you're not on a mic. Like most of the time, people don't have mics. Uh, like they're not doing team speak or anything like that. They just go into the Nexus. If they're going as Trogal, then they have a random person that they can't communicate with very fast. So um, the only downside to that uh, using Trogal, because he is pretty powerful, is that he can, um, you are limited to four people. Uh, so your lane presence is actually pretty nerfed. Gotcha. It's, uh, it's very interesting. Um, so do you play a lot of MOBAs, Ben? Uh, actually, not really so much. Uh, <laughs> um, I got to like level uh, uh, 10 in League of Legends before I, I lost my interest. Um, I tried Dota for a little while. I even tried... Um, I, I did Smite, and I did that a lot, uh, especially when I switched over to Xbox One. I did that a lot more. Um, uh, oh, I have and then Smite on the Xbox One. I just haven't so, tried it. So for, for, from this standpoint, like... How much of a like a financial commitment are these games? Um, like, well, I, I just get the impression it shouldn't be a lot, but I'm sure they're making money hand over fist. So there's got to be right. some. Right. So um, most of these MOBAs, they have it where um, you will get a free rotation of a lot of different heroes that you can try out every week. Um, they, that rotates all the time. So you, you don't have to pay anything <laughs> to experience that game, but it is a slower kind of pace that you're playing. Um, then, uh, like with Smite specifically, you can buy, um, like I think it's like $30, and you, you buy all the gods, that's what they call them in that game, um, and uh, you get all of them to play, and that's a one-time purchase. Um, so then is, there's is, a, it, is this like a pay-to-win, or it's not pay-to-win? Uh, it, it can be considered pay-to-win, because you uh, to get the heroes, um, you have to pay to get them, or you, you I mean... It's either pay in real money or uh, pay in game currency, where which you love, take a okay. while and level so, up. Yeah, um, I mean, it, it, I, f I feel like it's it's similar to Hearthstone. You can yes. you can save in game currency to buy packs. You can even save in game currency to to buy the the expansions. Um, it just takes a while. Um, right. But I, I having not poured any money into Hearthstone at all. Um, it, it, 
I feel like I still do fairly well. Um, it's like I, I've definitely put money into Hearthstone. Well, <laughs> so that, that was my big thing when I started playing Hearthstone is I, I really want to play the game because it's a lot of fun, but I don't want to spend money. Um, Just play Magic, damn it. No, that, I, I that's Magic even games. more money. Uh, <clears throat> so but, much better. Yeah. No, dude, just get the little kids to let you play. There you go. I could just play with those uh, house decks. Yeah. yeah. But uh, specifically with, I think, Dota, um, I think all the, the heroes are free. Uh, it's just all cosmetic at that thing, if I remember correctly. Yeah, Real by Night in the chat is uh, saying skins are pay only and they are cosmetic. Um, so... Hey, that, for you. I think he's talking about Smite specifically there. Oh, um, okay. Just because he, I, I played with him on Smite a lot, a lot and uh, that's one of his, uh, I think, his only favorite MOBA, if I remember correctly. He also and says he's called me liar. liar. So, wow. Well, it's probably look, 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 <laughs> Magic is not pay to win. I paid a lot of money and I still lose. <laughs> <laughs> he did beat a couple of little kids while we were at uh, <laughs> at Extra Life, but you know, little hey. kids. Uh, they're the future they're the future yeah so at the end of blizzcon they they meant they showed a trailer for the warcraft movie yes what? well they they did it at the beginning um it That's was what like I meant. part of the opening scene okay um <laughs> yeah it, it's it's been basically building since in hype since uh, i think the first blizzcon is when they said that they were thinking or they're working towards making a, a warcraft movie um, which was like 10 years ago. Um, it's been gone through a bunch of different iterations, different you know directors, all that kind of stuff. But finally they got uh, um, uh, Duncan, I think, Duncan Jones maybe? I can't really remember his name offhand. Um, but got a really good uh, director, um, got a lot of people uh, um, uh, that, that are actors that actually have played the games, uh, grew up playing the games. Uh, so they're really invested in it emotionally, which you know typically transfers into a good uh, acting uh, for that. So I'm really excited to see it. Um, Ed, the, everybody was whooping and hollering in the opening ceremony when they saw it. it. It was a lot of fun. People yelling for the horde, for the alliance. A lot of fun. Woo! Um, I heard a lot of uh, a lot of people complaining about all the CG in it, though. How do you, how do you uh, feel about that? I mean, I personally like CG. I, I uh, um, in college, I, I uh, did a class on you know computer animation, all that kind of stuff. I love doing that. Um, uh, so I see really good animation as uh, a really good art form, all that kind of stuff. Um, however, I can under sort of understand people's thoughts on it because they want to see more stage effects, uh, having such a high budget. Because uh, the Warcraft movie, they say, is the their budget is uh, bigger than the Lord of the Rings and Avatar combined. Holy wow. shit! Yeah, yeah. So we're talking that about a massive budget. That is a lot budget. of money. So a lot of they're not are, making it back. Yeah, they're Sorry. not making it back. I'm gonna call but, it now. Um, they, are, they are, a lot of people are annoyed that they, since they had such a high budget, um, they why why couldn't they have done stage effects? Because uh, that would have been a lot better in in some aspects. Yeah, but you know, how are you going to make a Warcraft movie and not have it be CG? <laughs> Like, I, I think, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like that if that movie is going to succeed, it's going to be in CG. Right. I mean, there's a lot of things, I mean, the game is all computer graphics anyways, so it has its roots in computer graphics, so it's pretty easy to um, kind of take that same idea, just build better models, um, almost. Uh, uh, there are some actors, I think the actress... Um, I, don't, I can't even remember her in-game character or, or in, in movie character is, but she is uh, um, the one of the few people that is actually uh, stage. Like she, she's uh, uh, wearing green makeup all over with you know tooth coming out, whatever. Um, they wanted to make her seem very real, and uh, I guess um, whereas like Orgrim uh, is just a voice with uh, you know mocap uh, movement and all that kind of stuff. Right. Uh, so I mean, it, it'll it'll seem weird, I think, but I, I, I mean, with this high budget, I think they can do a really well job with CG. I agree. Real quick, before we move on to the next topic, I just want to go to the chat. Um, Recruit thinks the CG will turn off anyone who wouldn't already be interested in it because it's a movie adaptation of a game, um, which you know maybe it, the, 
he brings up a good point. Movie adaptations of games are not usually very good. One um, comes to mind of In the Name of the King. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, uh, who, who knows? Maybe, maybe, maybe we can come up with something better with this one. But uh, I think that's a good place to stop. Thank you so much for, for talking about BlizzCon yeah. since none of, none of us could go. Um, <clears throat>